time that Blackbird is being shown publicly outside of our announcement three weeks ago. Now, we have brought 10 Blackbirds with us. They are in the HP booth, and you will be able to have you know, free access to go touch, play, and most importantly, don't be afraid to take and look at in detail the machine. Blackbird itself is made out of a cast aluminum. It's a solid cast aluminum case and chassis, extruded aluminum sides, same techn technology they use to make actually high-end cars. Um, we have all the access ports on the top. You have your DVD slot load right in the front between the, the fins themselves. It actually is elevated. We raise it up off the ground. It gives us six-sided cooling. Therefore, we can maximize the airflow and minimize the noise. And to get that noise level down to its absolute minimum. But if you go over to the booth and you look at a Blackbird, don't be afraid to open it up and look inside. It's designed to allow for very easy access to get into all of the component parts that are inside the machine itself. So like I said, it has six-sided cooling. Cooling comes up and cools the power supply. We also have a cooling chamber where it brings cool air through to cool the graphics cards and cool the CPU. Now in this case, this is a liquid-cooled version, but we also have just air-cooled versions at the low end. So the price point for a Blackbird is goes from $2,500 for the air-cooled all the way up to about $6,500, $7,000 if you put every bell and whistle you, could, you can think of inside. Now one of the things that Vinay showed you over there on the uh, server is the ability to swap out the drives. In this case, this is the technology and design that was developed in our workstations and server group. Slide out the tray, it has pins built in. All you do is you simply drop a SATA drive in, you slide the tray back in, close it, latch it, you're done. No ribbon cables, no power cords, nothing. I think, I think one of the magazine reviews, they timed themselves and it took 12 seconds for them to add a terabyte to Blackbird. You don't need to pull the screwdriver out. You don't need the screwdriver to add things like the cards. The actual card piece is just a simple snap out on the back and then you just simply close it and you're done. No screws involved with adding any of the options you know, into it. You can actually pull one lever on the top, slide your media drive right out the front. Close your media drive, hit the button, you're now done. The design of Blackbird is about being a platform. Rather than the traditional model of a desktop where you buy and it's very hard to upgrade, and if you want to upgrade, you got to go buy the new one, how do you create a platform that even the non-technical person can open up, get into it, add hardware, add disk drives, and be able to create a platform that's future-proof going forward.